folks, and it's uh, Ron back with another uh, video on Ron Brown's YouTube channel. We cover a lot of drone, camera gear, general tech, and uh, but especially drones. And today is going to be a drone video. We're back with the new little drone on our channel, the, the the that new mini drone that's out now. No, no, not not that mini, not the not that mini drone, but this this mini drone. This is the Altel Evo Nano uh, Plus. Uh, these drones have big names, and it came out uh, about the first year, and uh, you know it's been out a while, but we just got into the channel here for, for review in the last week or so. So we're trying to run through a bunch of videos on it. Today's video, you're gonna like this one. Uh, this uses an app called the Altel Sky app. It's a different app than the Evo 2 Pro uses. It's a more kind of stripped down app. It has a uh, you know less um, you know, less menus, less less features in it than the uh, the the I forget what the other apps called that the Evo 2 Pro uses, but the I think it's the Explorer app where this is the Sky app. But yeah, you know, the Sky app is kind of like the Fly app. It's kind of a dumbed down version of their professional app. So, uh, but with today's video, it's we we kind of. Take the drone for the first time, and we're going to do a kind of a tour or tutorial through uh, all the various menus and different icons. So we're going to now we're going to explain what everything on the uh, Sky app uh, uh, does. So you know, we're going to, like an A to Z on the, on the Sky app, all the functions. We're going to dig into the menus, take a deep, deep dive on what things do, uh, how they affect uh, your camera, your flight performance, and so on. So um, yeah, just. You know, uh, uh, buckle up, uh, you know, get yourself a cool drink, maybe a snack, and uh, we're going to roll that video. Hello, this is uh, Ron out here with the uh, my first test flight of the um, Altel Nano Plus drone. Um, we're using the um, Altel Sky app, which is a different app that you use to fly the, um, the Evo 2 Pro uh, from. So uh, this is a new app. And uh, we've already launched a drone already, uh, and I started the screen recording. Um, okay, well, this is, uh, you know, I just want to tell you, we're in the, you know, this is the main part of the app here. I haven't done anything yet outside. Take the drone off using the, on the left-hand side, using the H with the arrow uh, to it. That's the uh, automatic takeoff. Now it's in automatic land mode. So, um, and uh, you can see that, um, I'm going to call it that compass on the, left hand corner of the screen that is showing us that we're 50 miles in height and 13 feet away from the uh the home point and uh you can even see the direction there you see the north uh on the um right hand side there so uh, and then we have uh, of course if you want to see where you're in the map you hit the kind of google maps icon here and then you can see exactly where you are on the map so I'm not even going to bother expanding it. You can see where they put the drone right on, on top of the route number. So, okay, we're going to go back to the um, that compass -y thing here. And, uh, you know, above the Google Maps, there's an icon. It looks like a, a drone pointing. Like I guess that's the gimbal um, tilt. So it says 5%. So let me, let me move that a little bit here. Yeah, okay, that's the gimbal tilt. Now we're at 1%, and we were at 5%, so we we're showing... Uh, you know more um more what's plus so you can see that's nice to see that gimbal tilt there um uh, yeah so there, there we go there's uh i'm at the uh famous uh, swift marina here in margate city new jersey i'm in uh you know class g airspace there are no uh we check before you fly there are no temporary flight restrictions of any kind here today and we are well under the legal limit of uh 400 feet and we are well within a line of sight we're 13 feet away so um you know we're, we're definitely good on all those things here so i, I took give you a little you know rundown of what's on the left hand side of the uh app here so if you wanted to return to the main all tell screen you would go to the top of the left hand side and hit the all tell like kind of fancy a button in red there and you would go back to the you know the main screen there but we want to you know go back to the um the drone here so um i think we have to hit start again okay start button gets us back in um the screen we want to be in and uh, okay beside the a on the top left hand side is standard which that means your standard mode you could be in um standard mode lucrous mode or um the uh mode where you uh so the cinema mode the uh, the, the slow uh mode where you can film real well we'll, we'll get to that exactly what's that called in a second here now you see that that beep that yellow beep there indicated that the drone thought it saw something uh obstacle avoidance and maybe 
uh, sunlight hit it or maybe a bird flew above it or something like that but that went off just for a brief second there and then the safe to fly uh, a green thing there means you've got enough satellites and your gimbal and everything like that's good so okay working across going to the about the center you see the 96 percent that's the uh, battery life of the rc controller and then you to the right of that is the rc signal strength which is all the way top by kind of five bars kind of like what you get on a uh, like a cell phone when you're getting your um your signal strength and this is signal strength from the drone to the rc and then beside that is your satellites uh we got 18 satellites in so we got a strong satellite connection so we we get only get a a, a number um you know a reading of our thing but we also get a rating you know strong so that's good now the drone the, the next thing is the drone at the 73 percent and um you know if it's in the green that's good you know so we are still in the green when you get down to the red there then it's not so good it says we got 19 uh minutes and 16 seconds left of flight time it's counting down fast here but you know of course that's just if we would move further away then that would go uh down so then on the uh beside the right of that that green um uh, uh symbol thing is you're telling us we have obstacle avoidance on okay uh going up uh to the extreme right there that gear there's your um your different modes there like uh you could i think it comes on novice mode i've already turned off you could turn your put your max altitude in there your distance limits your return to home height um you know you can change your home point uh there they signal loss so you determine what the drone should do if you lose a connection i have it set to return home uh, this is where you do your compass calibration, your IMU calibration. You can get your battery information here, where you can change, you know, where the what critical low and, and low warning that, that come on there. So, um, and you got battery protection down there to protect uh, the battery. The system defaults to a self discharge in three days. So uh, that's good, you know, for your batteries. Battery health, 100%. Discharge time. I guess I haven't flown this battery yet, so I got nothing on that. So, um, then you got locate your drone if in case if you lose your drone. I don't know, since we'll show you where it is on the map here. I shouldn't have that because I don't know how to get back to the other screen. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to get back to my other screen. Let's just hit the uh, obstacle voice, maybe. Okay, let me just hit this back. Okay, there we go. Um, you know, okay, so that was that on that, that gear icon. We got too far back. So, um, advanced settings down here. You can, uh, you know, uh, turn your obstacle avoidance sensors on or off. Uh, show the radar map, which I have them all set to on. You have the rear LED indicators are on. You can, guess you can turn them off to say battery life and take off and attitude mode is, I think it's disabled here. So, uh, I need to have all my satellites before I can take off um i guess you would turn down if you wanted to fly indoors for some reason uh well you could you could fly this indoors you got um your obstacle avoidance uh sensors and you have your um downward facing sensors uh your optical flow so you can fly this indoors as long as you had enough light that all those sensors would work correctly so you wouldn't want to do this in a dimly lit room control uh you can set it to metric or imperial i have it on imperial command st stick uh, mode mode two is normal but most people fly flight mode there you go you can fly in smooth standard or ludicrous so the smooth is one i could not remember so smooth is the one that you can can you know you can fly real slow and do all your kind of cinematic moves and you know you can change your gimbal pitch your aircraft uh turn speed in, in all the different modes so um so it's telling me that if i'm going to go into lucas mode that um i'm going to avoid um you know turn off obstacle avoidance which is fine because the drones is sitting up up top here nothing to hit so um you can see the iphone screen already maybe i don't know if you can see that it's starting to dim already even though i'm you know it's um, i'm out kind of out of the sun here but okay so you see the parameters are different there and on on here marcus was looking for this in one of his videos marcus crawford he wanted to know where you set the priority preference to speed priority or video priority it's right here in the lyricus mode and flight mode so we will go back to standard here 
and then you see smooth. You see smooth, I have them bumped down real real low and smooth. I've already played with these. These aren't the standard ones, but you can switch it back to standard anytime you um, you want here. So, um, and you can even uh, go down here and, you know, adjust your uh, EX, EXP settings here, which I thought I messed with them, but, oh, yeah, they are. I did mess with them there. They're a little bit different. So it just took a while to come in there. You could reset them if you want to get them back to normal. So um, here you can customize the function button, which is on the um, left hand side, right above, right below the, uh, right in front of the gimbal wheel. So I have the single tap for the autofocus uh, lock and then the other one. So I've set these, but it's unset it for me. So let's, I don't know if you do that every time, but I'd like one of them to um, be the speed mode. So I'm going to say um one's going to be speed mode and two is going to be um a lot of people put on the gimbal pitch thing but i'm going to put it i'm going to leave it on the uh exposure lock thing like it was here where where was that i already don't see it there let me, let me put that on speed mode and put this one to um uh auto uh, oh yeah Auto exposure, lock and unlock. So that's going to be my custom buttons. RC calibration. It's going to you know calibrate the controller. I'm not going to hit that now in case it won't let me get back out of it again. Um, gimbal mode. You can go stabilize or FPV. So if you want an FPV type of look, you could change it. But I have it on stabilize, of course. Uh, you can enable the gimbal pitch to uh, extend uh, uh, minus 15. So I have that enabled. Uh, gimbal. You can manually adjust your uh, gimbal there. Uh, we don't, I don't, I'm not going to do that right now. Gimbal calibrations, uh, right there. We're not going to do that now either. Um, I don't know if you could, you could do it in the air. You may have to be on the ground. Uh, gimbal angle, you can, um, you could recenter or, or, or make it go downwards. So I have it on recenter. Um, so that's it there. Okay. In camera mode, there you got your, you can refor, you can format your SD card here. Uh, you can enable audio recording during video. Um, I, I, I guess that means uh, audio, audio recording from your phone. I mean, I, I can't believe the drone would do any video recording. Enable video buffering during the video shooting. So if you want to buffer, you can enable that. I think we're okay on the buffering. We got a fast card in there and everything. Uh, of course, you can put a you can put a grid, put the grid in. You can put the center point in. You can put the cross things in. So photo photo format we have it in JPEG, uh, hyperlapis JPEG, panos J. We have all JPEGs here right now, so we're gonna go with JPEG for a while here. Portrait uh, uh, track night JPEG uh, video we have it in, in dot dot MOV because I'm a Mac guy. Video encoding H.265 kind of because I'm a Mac guy and I have fast enough hardware to use that. If you got older computers or maybe you're in Windows, you stick with it. H.264 uh, download size HD. You can keep original. I guess to make smaller downloads. We don't. We don't have the defog. We can defog. This is a, a thing that was in the Altel Evo 2 Pro. Uh, I don't think we are foggy here, so we won't turn that on right now. We're going to enable our histogram, which I like using that better than the overexposure warning. Anti flicker. We'll keep it on 60 there. Overexposure warnings right there. I'm going to leave it off. Uh, we can add timestamp to photos or videos. We're going to leave that off. You can put a custom stamp. You can reset the whole camera. So, okay, we're going to go to the image transmission system. Uh, we have it on smooth. Uh, you can turn it up to HD if you want or even 2.7K, but uh, we're going to keep it on smooth for now. Image transmission resolution, 30 frames per second is, uh, I guess, the only your only option in smooth. Maybe you can, it's, if you change the HD... Yeah, I don't see an, an option any place. We're going to go back to smooth here. Uh, image transmission pillbox uh, blurring. Uh, blurring. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what that means. We'll figure that out at some point and I'll get back to you. Wi-Fi fast transmission switch. It, it, once enabled, Wi-Fi will be turned on when the aircraft is on the ground. It may affect other aircraft. Um... Yeah, I don't exactly know what that is, but we're going to leave that off. It's off by default. There's your about page. If you want to know the latest firmware I'm on there is, um, you need to see the aircraft firmware, the version 1.3.26. You see the app version there, the, the batteries, so on and so on. 
So that's basically it for the, um, you know, take a tour around. Yeah, but we're, we're, we're just hovering up there. We're, um, it's a little bit of a breeze up there near open water here. So it's already down to 37%. So we'll, we'll stop another battery and fly around here in a second. But, um, okay, now we're going to go down to the, uh, this camera mode here. So you, here's your photo resolution. You can, uh, switch it around there. I got on the smallest one because the smallest one allows you to turn HDR on. You can go single mode or you can take a burst timer, all expose your bracket, all that good stuff. Um, okay, let's see here. I don't know why I can't go back here. Oh, that's the, and, and I'm in f photo mode. So that's the only settings in photo mode. If you switch it to um, below, you can switch it to video mode. There you got other options. You can go 4K. 2.7, 1080p. Most you could do is 30 frames per second on um, on 4K on this. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. If you go down to 2.7K, you can yeah the option of uh, still don't have the option of 60 frames per second. You had 25, 24, and uh, sorry, I keep hitting the wrong button there. Um, let's take it down to 1080p. And there you go. If you want it, if you're 60 frames per second type of guy and you need to get it, you have to go down 1080p to get that. So you can take photos while shooting. You got log color. Uh, and that you had that in the other ones too. Sorry, I keep hitting the wrong button there. So we go back to 4K and you still have the log color and take take uh, photos while shooting video. So uh, we're going to keep HDR on not log color for right now. And of course the big red button is your record video button. And, um, and then down below the screen here, you have the auto button, so you can go to, um, oh, I don't know why I can't change that, I'm not recording. Um, when we go, let's just start up here, you have different modes, you have your quick shot modes here, so we have a bunch of quick shots, uh, flick, fade away, rocket, and there's another one there, orbit, but we, we're not going to do this right now because our battery's running low. You got your portrait mode here. Everybody loves portrait mode. You got your shoot mode here. You got your uh, time lapse, and you got your pano. So you got the, the all the popular panos: spear, wide angle, landscape, portrait, all the you know, all the all the good ones here. And, the oops, aircraft battery is low. Please the land return here. to home. I'm gonna cancel it because it's it's so close. I don't want to go in any type of automatic landing on me so let's get out of the car here and land this drone we'll change the battery sorry if i'm picking up road noise here i just get out of the car all right so we're bringing it down I want to do a uh, auto, I mean a manual land here. Gimbal is self-checking. Please okay, take off later. Okay, this portion. I'm going to stop the screen recording right now. Okay, folks. I hope you enjoyed that uh, kind of uh, first flight. It wasn't even really a first flight. We were just hovering while we were going through the menu. But I know the drone had to be in the air for me to show you certain things. You know, some drones... You can't access all the settings when the drone is just uh, kind of like sitting on the desktop. It actually has to be in a flight. So that's why I put up in the air so we could show you kind of everything. Now, we did not kind of get too deep into the um, the actual camera uh, uh, settings or whatever. We kind of lost time. So I kind of just skipped over a lot of the camera settings at the end. So our next video, we'll make a whole video where we just do camera related settings and uh you know, that's probably going to help a lot of people out that have questions about uh 
you know, things they could do or not do with with the camera for as far as video and, and picture quality. Of course, we're going to do a, a future one where we kind of show you all the quick shot modes in it. We're going to go over the pano modes. we got a whole series of videos coming, like A to Z on the Nano Plus. And that, that other mini drone I hate to mention, it's coming slip sh shipping so slow that I'll probably have, you know, 50 videos out on the, uh, the little Nano before that other mini drone gets here so uh i hope you enjoyed this content and uh if you do um you hit the uh, thumbs up um yeah thumbs up which likes the video um uh, subscribe to the channel um hit the bell notification so you'll um you know, you'll know when I put more videos out in Nano and that other mini drone. And also there's a new thing called the thanks button where you can, you can thank me with a little, um, you know, like a little gift. Uh, it's kind of like, I think gifts as low as $1.99. So um, they'll kind of help the channel to help me go out and buy more, uh, you know, more things to review, more tech to review, even things like say, you know, maybe somebody wants to see what, what the ND filler is like this. So, you know, uh, any 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 little contribution will help me go fund uh, ND filters for this. And I do a little preview. I just got reached out today. I'll give you more information when it arrives. But uh, I was reached out. I'm going to get a uh, a tablet a, a tablet mount in for the controller for this. So uh, so I can use my um, iPad Mini Five with it. So that that'll be pretty cool. So that's that's coming soon. But anyhow, um, that's it for today. Uh, like I said, you know. Um, if you can help out the channel, please help with thanks. But and also left a PayPal link in the description where you can like send me a cup of coffee or whatever. You know, keep uh, you know, keep me uh, you know caffeinated up here while I'm making all these uh, videos and these late night editing sessions. So uh, we will definitely see it on the next video.